WTI futures open this session extending yesterday's pretty decent losses. Despite the fact that the carryover from yesterday's API report showing crude inventories drawing over 6 million barrels versus expected uh, consensus of about 1.7 million barrels. A lot of news flow hitting a tape concerning a slowing economy and fears of tightening financial conditions and also signs of shrinking oil refinery profits hitting the tape, stoking worries that refineries will cut throughput. Also, news flow with renewed concerns over regional banking, uh, definitely dragging down the market. We get into the mid to late session. We did have a bounce back in positive territory for a while and then expanded into a pretty wide and volatile trading range. The lower US dollar, definitely seemed to help in the mid-session, also geopolitical news from Russia, Iran, and also Iraq. Later in the session, we had the EIA report. Um, crude inventories dropped over 5 million barrels. Uh, consensus was expecting about a draw of about 1.5 million barrels. Cushing supplies actually rose 319,000 versus last week's draw of a little bit over 1 million. Gasoline supplies uh, drew 2.4 uh, million barrels. Uh, consensus was expecting a draw of about 1 million, and distillate supplies dropped 576,000 barrels. Consensus was looking for a draw of about 839,000. That said, uh, traders continue to monitor cross-asset cross performance with stocks and bonds. Uh, given tomorrow, we have GDP and Friday's PCE report. Looking at options, I look at CME Group CVOL, June trading the 50th percentile. At the money, vol is higher, although skew a little bit lower as there's more upward pressure on the down variance versus the uh, call variance. Option volume spread out, but seeing notable volume the June 78 through 81 calls and June 73 and 76 puts. Lastly, CME Group WTI Micro Futures volume very strong today. Yesterday we had an estimated volume of 87,083, open interest estimated at 34,450.